Hello everybody. So today we're talking about converting units of length within the same system. So customary, which is the US system, to other customary in the US system, or metric to metric. So a few things that we need to know, we need a few constants. So a mile is 5,280 feet. A mile is also 1,760 yards. One yard is three feet. One yard is also 36 inches, and as you already all know, I'm sure, one foot equals 12 inches. So now here's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna show you a few different ways of doing the same thing. You can choose whichever way works best for you. So the formal way is we're gonna do this, and this will help you with physics and chemistry in particular, is that we're gonna be canceling out units like we normally cross cancel. So my starting unit is two miles, I'm going to put that over one because I'm not going to need any units with it yet. Now for feet, I want to have my units that I'm trying to get rid of diagonal from each other. Kind of like how we're doing cross-canceling for fractions. So this is going to get me miles here and miles here so I can then cross these out and I lose my miles. Then since one mile is 5,280 feet, I would now multiply 2 times 5,280. This gets me 2 times 5,280, which would then get me 10,560 feet. All right, so again, if I'm going from a big unit to a smaller unit, I need a lot more of them, so your answers will get bigger. In this case, I'm going 880 yards to miles. So I'm gonna do this one here, I'm gonna do this one a different way. So I need this one to have 880 yards. Now, I want to divide this because if I'm going from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, I need less of them, so I have to group them together. That's what division is for. It's for grouping. I'm going to divide this by 1,760 because there's 1,760 yards in a mile. And this gets me 0 0.5 or 1 half. So 880 yards is one half a mile. Now, let's say we take another example. Let's go for, let's do uh, 48 yards. And I wanna break this down into inches. So now I'm gonna cut this up, so I'm gonna need more pieces, so I'm multiplying. So I can take my 48 yards over one now I'm going to multiply this by 36 inches over one yard. So again, yards cancels out yards. 48 by 36 would give us our answer. So let's do this here. You can use a calculator. I don't have one with me right now. All right. 8, 4, 288, and then 3, so I drop a 0. It's a 4, 2, 1440. So this gets us 1,728 inches. Okay. Now let's go the other way. Let's go from yards to, let's go, let's go inches to yards. So let's take 72 inches. And now I want to go to yards, so 72 over 1 times 1 yard is 36 inches. Now the reason why it's on the bottom is I want my units that I'm trying to cancel out diagonal from each other. So I can use them to cross cancel. Now remember, we're multiplying, inches cancels out, even 36 and 72. 36 goes in this 36 once, goes in the 72 twice, giving us 2 yards. All right, now the metric system. Metric system's a lot easier because the metric system is the same for every type of measurement. So here we have our unit. Now in this case, it's gonna be a meter. So we have kilometer, heptometer, decameter, meter, decimeter, centimeter, and millimeter. So we have km, abbreviation, HM, DAM, M, DM, 
cm and mm. So let's say I want to convert 4,128 meters, and I want to make this into millimeters. Simplest way to do it is start at your unit here, and you're going to count how many spaces away and which way you're going to go. So to get from meters to millimeters, I have to go one, two, three spaces away. So I take my 4,128, and I take my decimal, and I move it one, two, three spaces away. I annex some zeros, so I add some zeros in, and then I write the number again. So we get 4,128,000 millimeters. Now let's go ahead and let's take 36 centimeters and I want to convert this now to hectometers. Now I do the same thing. I take my decimal and now I go and count. So I go from centi, so I go one, two, three, four to the left. So I go one, two, three, four to the left. I put my due decimal point. I need two zeros as placeholders and I need my leading zero. So we get this to become zero decimal zero zero three six hectometers. All right, one more example. I'll do it really quick over here. Let's do 26.2 kilometers. And I wanna go now to meters to go from Kilo to meter, I go one, two, three over. So I take my 26.2, 26.2, and I go one, two, three. I add my zeros to get 26,200 meters. In fact, let me reach that decimal point, that comma, so it doesn't look like a decimal point. All right, and that's conversion in the metric system. All right, so again, metric system, you're going to move the decimal that many spaces over. All right. And then here for our customary system here, we use the United States. You can either divide or multiply. Remember you divide to go from small units to big units, or you multiply to go from big units to small units, or you can go ahead and use the conversions. All right. So this will be the customary and metric system of length. Have a good day.